special shear for Chaved Parsha Zocher Purim Tov Shim Pei Beis and would like to start with a story you have it in front of you the beginning of Sefer Shmuel Beis tells us the story which is a continuation of the end of Sefer Shmuel Alf. The end of Sefer Shmuel Alf tells us the story of Shola Melech going out with the Muhammad against the Plishtim. And he gets killed in that Milcham. And as we start Perak Aleph in Sefer Shmuel Beis, it says as follows, you can see inside, Vayomer Elov mi Machane Israel Nimlateti. Vayomer Elov David Ma Hoyo Adovo Haged Noli. Vayomer Asher Nosa Omina Mulchomo. Vigam Habe Nofal Minoom Vayomusu. Vigam Shoul Vayohina Son Benoi Mesu. Vayomer David Elana Magidloi Eich Yodato Kimei Shoul Vayohina Son Benoi. Tells him, Amoidno Olai umoisasani ki ochazani a shavats, kol oid nafshi bi. Vo oimad va emoid ola va emoisasay ki odate kilo yichia rinofloi. Vo eka hanezer asher al roishoi, ve its odo asher al zroi va vimel adoni heino. Vayomer David will stop here for a second. Tells him, you know what? I'm coming from the war with Plishtim. Klal Yisrael lost the battle. Many people got killed. And besides the many people that got killed, David is being told that Yehoina's son and Shaul, who was raided after David his whole life, Yehoina's son and Shaul got killed in the war. Theoretically, he thought he's telling a besur toiva to David because Shaul was raided of him three times. He wanted to kill him. His father-in-law, he wanted to kill him. He tells them the game is over, Shoal got killed. He tells them, how do you know that? He says, Shoal called me, and he saw the police team at Biku, they're after him, they're going to kill him, it's inevitable. So he said, he fell on his cherev, committed suicide, Shoal committed suicide, but whilst he's still mefarper, or chazani ha-shavots, says there Adaki was a goisus, he says, do me a favor, take your knife and make a confirmation of death. Because I don't want to go down in history as losing the battle. I am the one who is losing the battle that Plishtim killed me. They're going to come and they're going to definitely going to stab me. I want you to kill me, make sure I'm dead. And that's what I did. And if you don't believe me, I take off the crown and there it's Odo. This is what a Melochim are wearing, the jewelry of the king, and here they are. Vayoimer David Elanar Amagilo Eimize Ato. Who are you? Vayoimer Loi Bain Ish Ger Amoleki Anoich. I'm a son of a man, a Ger Amoleki Anoich. Vayoimer Dov David Eichle Yoreso Lishloach Yotcho Lishaches as Mishiach Hashem. How dare you to kill Mishiach Hashem? Vayikro Dovid Lecho Manor, Vayomer Gash, Gaboy, Vayakir, Vayomer just get him eliminated. Vayomer Elov Dovid Domecho Al Rishcho, Kopicho Honobecho, 
לאמור אנוכי מויסאסי משיח השם. You kill משיח השם? How do you do such a thing? Tells one of the Shamashim, just kill him. He kills him and he says, Dom Chabereishcha, you deserve death because you killed Mashiach Hashem. I'd like to ask five questions on this story. Pashtas, if you look, you see that the reason why David kills him is because this Nar is telling him, I killed Shol and his Chayev Misal Tzritzayach. So the first thing we know. There is a we know that in Mominus is a deen of Vidar Baldin, a person could be made. But in the Fashis, the guy wants to incriminate himself, he comes and says, I, I killed somebody, I was Michal Shabbos. The Allah is in other Mason Matsumi Russia, a person cannot be Mason Matsumi Russia. So, how does David go ahead and pass to his Mechui of Misa based on the Vidar Satsumi of this Nar? This is question number one. Question number two, he tells him, Is I'm a lakey. So the either shaila if the mitzvah is al kol yochid ve yochid shita sachinuch and other one the medayik in the Rambam that the mitzvah mechias amolek is any time a maleki comes into your head kill him. What do you have to come on to reitzayach? You have a maleki say l'shem yichud kuchu brichu bo chato Hashem alakei the melech hoy lo mashaki dishon mitzvah yisur tzimon the luchas amolek and kill him. Number three, if for some reason he didn't kill him, he didn't amolek. What does it say? Dom cho beroish cho ki horak to es Mashiach Hashem. In Hilchas Ritzicha, there is no nafkemine if somebody kills Mashiach or he kills anybody else. A poshet a person and a melech in Hilchas Ritzicha, every Israel b'asher or Israel has the very same deen. So what's Dom cho beroish cho kila? I'm taking a revenge. You killed the king. You definitely deserve misa. You killed the Eid. You mochuiv misa. Why, what's the gleek about Mashiach Hashem that you should be mechuy of Misa more than anybody else? Number five, number four, he tells him the story, he says that Shaul called me over, and he said, who are you? And I asked him, I answered him, Amaleki Anoichi. So he says, please kill me, I don't mind being killed by Amaleki. And then David tells him, Mi ato? Ei mizei ato? Mi if you don't trust him for the story, so he, uh, he's going to say a lie again. If he is telling him the chachila, he's telling David the story that I told Shaul that I was a Maliki. What is he saying? What is this? This is redundant. And last but not least, the halacha is the halacha is you potter, you're not chayiv misa. I'm I'm stating chayiv misa l'shamayim. It's a it's a himalish. It's a it's a spiritual chayiv misa l'shamayim. But there's no misa b'day adam. You can't kill a person who koil oyrigas atreifer. If Shaul committed suicide and he says in the pasuk Chazani Ashovetz, and the Radak tells us Chazani Ashovetz means to zogun, I became a goisus. So now what did he do? He took a goisus and he. Moved around the knife, make sure that he gets killed. Otherwise, he would die in ten minutes. And now he's dying in two minutes. He's killing him. So all these shilas I would like to answer here, and would like to really get involved and come out with a crystal ball. The mechilte, you can take a look. You have it in front of you. Parshas b'shalach, Rabbi Lezer Oimer nishba amokim bekisa akovet shaloi. שימיובו <laughs> A mechilte, you can't fight City Hall. A mechilte is a mishne. Mechilte says that nishbam kodesh bochu bekisa akovet that any other umma that comes to be misguided to convert, you accept him. Mid mid amalek, you don't accept. So kte vayoyme, how do you know? Shenem avayoyme David alana emi zeat and he told him ger amalek yanoichi. Nizka David, that moment David reminded himself, Mashenema Moshe Rabbeinu, when Moshe Rabbeinu was told, 
that you're not mekabel from a molek. Therefore, it says domcha roishcha midorda. Pashtas the mechilte. Anybody who reads the mechilte superficially says he killed him with a molek. Says the kach neelam midorda. He tells him you're not mekabel gerim in a molek. Now, since David was, no, if there would be a loch mekabel gerim in a molek, he would convert to become oish molek. But since David would remind himself to ain mekabel gerim in a molek, in gela the geiras is not chal. You, picho ano becho, you are the one who convicted yourself saying that you are Malaki. Therefore, I'm killing you, Medina Malaki. Frag the Nazif, Gleicht of Nord. It doesn't make any sense. The Possek says, Picho ano becho, ki orakto, animo itati and Mishiach Hashem. So you again kill Medina Ritzach. What's happening over here? The Mechilta fears always, Lekach neema midordor. So what is he killing him? The psukim, if you read the psukim with the naked eye, you see he killed him ato eich lo yorei so lishloach yad ve mishiach Hashem, he get killed at Zvetzeach. Killed mishiach Hashem. The psukim come along and say, is ke'ilu he killed him in Zvetzeach. No, no word of, he just says, who are you? He says, Gerem Oleki. And the Mechilta turns around the whole thing. He says, Nishba HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you're not mekabo gerim me'amolek. Omar David, lekach nema midordor. What's lekach nema midordor? Not only in the generation of Moshe and Yeshua, but in future generations to come, also should there and again Amalek come, don't accept and kill him with the Amalek. Mocha em chazecha Amalek midor dor. Was tutzach. Comes along a male simcha with a with this beautiful. I don't want to read the whole Amalek simcha, but I'll tell you b'kitzor. Amalek simcha says a beautiful chap. He says like this. He says that how he was really bothered with the question, how is he getting killed by Das Hatzmai? The Allah is in the Mesim Hatzmai Russia. Right? So he says, this is what bothered the Mechilte. He says, since the Allah is that Ein Mechabun Gerim in Amolek, so the Allah is that his Gerus is null and void. Once his girl's new void is a benayach. A benayach is nerag by das hatzma. And the reason for that being just the Michaschinich says, because the reason why another ain't Odom may seem atzma in Russia, stating more because Odom core of it's a latzma. Person is a core of by himself. But by, by benayach, the core of his kosher edus. So a person is may seem atzma in Russia. So benayach is nerag by das hatzma. Says Rameh Simcha. And that's the reason why he's also mechuiv medin goises. Because this tour of our Gesatrefa, our Gesagoises is only by Israel. But Benoyach, Shefech Dama Odom, the Rabbi is Goises, the Rabbi is Trefa. You know, the Rabbi is Ubrin. Benoyach is different. So he says, since, as is Dr. Mesin, this is learning Pshat in the Mechilte. Since, in the Kabbalah, Gerim in Amolek, Mele comes out of what? That you Geris is never Chal. If you Geris is never Chal, you're Benoyach. If you're Benoyach, you never go to the yeah, but the Satsma we can kill you. Sayals, there's no problem with no Mesim Hatsma Rosho. And you could get killed with being killing a Gaisis. It doesn't make any difference. So so he comes back to the Psukim, and that's how it's Mashma from the Psukim. He killed the Medim Ritzeach. The problem was, hey, how could you kill a guy who comes and say, I killed somebody, how do you kill him? Terat says, he says, Geramaleki, Geramaleki, the Gerus is not Chal, the Gerus is not Chal, it's a Benech, it's a Benech, Mimele, all the Mesim Hatsma Rosho, the Chav and the Gaisis. This is the Shtikotoya from the Meir Simcha. A minute. Two questions. Number one, number one. If you read them with all due courtesy, I mean, Ms. Anishki mentioned to Dingen after the Meir Simcha. But the Mechilta fears always the Kach Neema Midordor. If you read the Mechilta Alpana, that's how the Tziv understood the Mechilta. The Mechilta is talking to us about being Mechias Amolek. The Mechilta is not talking to us about. <coughs> In Ritzach, you get killed midin mechias amolek. That midin, that's number one. Number two, I look up in the Rambam. The Rambam, you have it there. The Rambam in Hilchas Sanhedrin. The Rambam brings down the din of Eino Meisim Atzim Eroshi. Gzera Sakosavu, Shein based in Memidim Velo Malkin Sodo Bedoas Piv El Al Pishnai Meidim. Veze Shehorag Yeshua Es Ochon VeDavid LeGera Amoleki. Rambam's kasha. How did he kill him? Eino the Meisim Atzim Eroshi. 
באוידו אספי אוי רעשו אוי סוי דין מלכוס אוי סוי אבל סנהדרין אי ממיסים אולי מלכים עמוד בהרבה לו שמא נטרפו דייתם בדובר זה שמא נמאמי לי מורי נפש המחקים לומוס שטויקים אחרובס בביתנו משליכים על הגג שמא כך לי אובר שלא יעשו דובר זה כדי שיעור וכלור של דובר גזרס מלכו. רמא אוי סבאדו אי רשת אי לא דומיסים אס מי רשת סוי נס דובר תקיל דם מלכי ליב אלון יהושע ואוי אחות You said what happened to Yeshua? Here is Yeshua's back. The Rambam flecked a cash how does David kill the Amaleki and not the Mesim Atzim Rosho? So the Rambam was a Roa Sho or Din Malchus. So the Rambam says, the Feyush, that the reason why he killed him is a Roa Sho or the Kedin, or the Melech the Kedin, or the Roa Sho or the Kedin. So he killed him with Din or Roa Sho. Not like a Mesim Chas says that right now, Bible of Benoyach, he's a Loch of Eno Mesim Atzim Rosho. That's number one. Number two, if you look at the Mechilte, with all due courtesy, the Pashtas on Mechilte is vice to say, kill the Medin Amolek and not Medin Reitzayach. So, I mean, we have over here two floating items, objects. We have the Psukim that it seems like he killed the Medin Reitzayach. The whole Perek in Sefer Shmuel, see me kill the Medin Reitzayach. We have a Kasha, why do you say Mishiach Hashem? And we have a Mechilte that seems to be singing a song of Amolek. גידנקטן אל תגנב אשכוכו ויזנב, אין, מוכר תמכה זכר המורק. סו איך עסקה עם ושתי מקרוס הלוסר, מסימכה קיים אלון, ובואו לבריליאן חאפ, תצינסי זה המורק, אינם מקבל גרם מהמורק, סמל לגרם שזה דעתך, ממילא זה עוד לא מסתימה עצמו ראש. פרופסור רמב"ם שטייט נשתה זה, וצווייט נשתה מחילת זה יועץ מדי פשוט, הוא כפשט זה מחילת היא קילד הם בדין המורק. Why didn't he kill him in the Namolek? So obviously he didn't kill him in the Namolek. It's not a cash. It's not. Don't say it's not a truck and a cash. It's a dry question, and we'll see in a minute. I would like to suggest as follows and answer the Mechilte and the Rambam and your question. There is a fascinating story later in Sefer Shmuel, and uh, actually in Sefer Shmuel Aleph, there is a, a, a story. There was a guy called Novel HaKarmeli. Novel HaKarmeli was a very rich man. David HaMelech and his soldiers were guarding his fields. And David came to ask for Sachar to give some food for his armies. He says with his arrogance, Me David and me Ben Ishai. Who are you? Who, who are you? Who are your father? You're not interested. David, who is my dear, the Oilom, is mechui of Misa, is going to kill him that night. The Gemari and Megillah and the Fidal, when the Lord brings down, there was Sheva Nevis, Omdur Leisrael, one of them is Avigail. The Lord says, how do you know Avigail? Look at the Gemari inside. It says like this, V'hine, V'hoyo Yeruchevis al-Hamo, V'yodu B'Sei Serol, B'Sei Serol, Mino, Miboyle, Omer Rabba Barab Shmuel, Melamed Shebo al Iskei Dam, Abo Min Astor, Melamed Shenot Lodam B'Cheiko, V'Heir Asole. Omer Lo, she is, this, Avigail is married to Novel HaKarmeli. She will be married to David after her husband is going to get a heart attack when he hears she made a very sizable contribution to the army of David. He got a heart attack and she marries David. But now she's coming to save her husband from David's psaq that her husband is somebody who is Mechuy of Mis. So she comes down, Melamed, she was a smart lady. Everybody knows Yodov shall do his melukhlochis b'shvir b'dam b'shilio. He knew he passed in all marries. So she comes in and she asks him. She comes to vayz a mare. Omar lo v'chiroim dam balaylo. You don't see domim balaylo. But as man as we do see domim, it's only beoisas man he didn't say domim because all dam odoim was muter, so they weren't seeing domim balaylo. She came with a chap. She says, you don't want to pass on my marriage. So how do you pass on my husband? is He's says, he doesn't need, it's a dean of the Melech, it kills somebody, he doesn't need, no dean of Ein Beis and Yeshu Balaylo, because you don't need it. אומר לו, וברוך טעם איך ברוך הסעת אשר כרסני היום הזה מבוי בדומים. תרי דומים, דם נידו ודם שפיכוס דום. He told her that you don't have to be done in based in, there's no deen of ain done in nefesh ששוש בלילה. Why? Because he's הלוכי, he's מחויב מי שבדין מויר במלכוס. He said, מי דוב ודומי בן אישה, זה מויר במלכוס. She tells him, 
Adain show kayom veliyotza tiva chabaylo. What does that mean? This is the era we call in French demi saison. This is the era between after Hakadosh Baruch Hu said that Shaul, what we read today in the Aftarah, that Shaul lost his melucha because he didn't kill Agog. So Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, "Kor Hashem es mamloches Yisrael me'alecho." David is being nimshach by Shmuel. He's blibes a meshuach already. He's a melech a meshuach, but Shaul was not thrown off his chair. He's still an active future ex-king. Zog the parshas drachim, and you look inside, and I'm quoting. Nimtzeinu lemedim shavigal v'domido yuchaluki bedin shedovido yosavu shemishol shenimshach Shmuel yesh lo din melech ve'av shadain shol kayom v'avigail. This is the parshas drachim, the mishnah melech. V'avigail soiveres she'ein lo din melech av shekvar nimshach me'achar shadain shol kayom. So the machlekes David and Avigail was if, some, if David held he was a melech because he was already mishiach mishuach, and Avigail said. No, as long as the king is around, you are not an active. Since you're not an active king, she saved her husband. Just to tell you that she came back home and she told her husband that she brought in the gift and he was hash belibo, he got a heart attack, he dies, and she goes and marries David just for the story. If you want to know the happy end. Zemele comes as a I would like to suggest as follows. The Ramban, look at the Ramban. The Ramban al says, Yesh meforshim ki yod al kesko, kashe tiye yod al kes, kise Hashem tiye milchom al Hashem ba'amol ve chetiye midor de ve'inyon, kashe yye melech b'Yisrael yoshim al kise Hashem ilochem ba'amolek, vu romaz l'shoul ha'melech ha'rishim ve chemidor yodor loima, ki kol melech b'Yisrael chayv l'imoch l'ilochem ba'am ad she'imochem. וזה מדרש הגמור כשאומר יד על כסקו מלכו בהשם בעמולק, הרי לעמיד עלי מלך תחילו, ואין כסקו אל המלך שנאמה וישב שלמה כדי איסא פרק כהן גודל, והדרך הפשט נוחן. שתי רמב״ם, רמב״ן, לזה איזה דס הירעים, דה מיצה מחיאס עמולק איזה מיצה which is מוטל only on the מלך and not on the יחיד in כלל ישראל. So I would like to say like this. When the Nair Amaleki comes to David and he tells him, I killed Shaul, I made a, what we call a confirmation of death. He tells him, In a second he kills Shaul, is Poka the Malchus of Shaul. I'm, like, I'm coming from left field. In a second he kills Shaul, is Poka the Malchus of Shaul. If his poker the malchus of Shaul is chal on David a din of melech, so bees yen at sight until he comes alone and says, "Ani oraktis mishiach Hashem." So even though David is nimshach, but doesn't have a din melech, Avigail would get past him. David was made it to her. Lo yotzot yivach ba'elam. But in the second, he tells them that Ani oraktis mishiach Hashem. At that moment, there is no longer Shaul. Is yotzot tivach ba'elam is ex tivach. Who is the now acting king from this moment on? David. So he tells them, if he is a melech, he kills him, Medina Melech. He kills him, Medina Maleki. He really kills him, Shtetim Mechilta Klo, Lekach Neema Midordo. He kills him, Medina Maleki. No, he's, b- beforehand he was the melech, he couldn't kill him, Medina Maleki. Dom Choon Abacho Kerakta Mishiach Hashem. What does he like to Mishiach Hashem? In Metzich, there's none of Kimin, Mishiach Hashem, not Mishiach Hashem. Therefore, there is no king. If there is no king, I am the king. If I am the king, I'm going to kill you. Medina Maleki. Teretz is. Oh, but how does he know? How does David know that he really killed Shaul? This is by the Asatzwe. The whole story is Mipiv Anuchayim. How do we know? Because of the Asatzwe. So the Rambam, that a person ain't not a Mason Asam in Russia, but how did David kill Amaleki? So the Rambam, because it was a Yilas Amalchus, was a Yirasha. In other words, we have to come on to his story in order to verify that the king died, and once the king died, he became the king. Once he became the king, he killed Medina Malik. But the Mechilta could live in peace together with the story in Sefer Shmuel. He kills them when he tells them, Ato, Yotcho, Domcho, Bcho, Aloishcho, Kipicho, Onocho, Anoichim, Mesasis, Mishiach Hashem. He's chepping with the fact that he killed Mishiach Hashem. 
And once you call me Sheikh Hashem, we're trying to be a little bit sophisticated. Then I am the king. If I'm the king, you're getting killed. The kach neema mi dor dor. Shalei kablu. No, if there would be a loch of the kablu geri meamolek, so the geri would be chal. He wouldn't be an amoleki. If he wouldn't be an amoleki, David cannot kill him in amoleki. Vibal David niska bo yisrael shei mekablu David meamolek, so the geri is not chal. But since you killed Mashiach Hashem, at that moment, I know that I'm the king. If I'm the king, I'm killing him. So, the Rambam, 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 the the story that he killed him to tell us that the current events are events such that today he became the king instead of him. It's this, the Yotza Tiva Choboyim expires, this, the expiration time is right now. At this moment is the expiration time. I didn't know Shaul was there. Who? How does David know? I didn't know Shaul was there. Because the Naamalek is telling him. What Naamalek is supposed to hear? He's coming to be Mesim Atzmei Russia, and he could be Mesim Atzmei Russia. Does the Rafik say it's good? Does the Rafik say The guy comes along and says, Arakti is David. So he's Mesim Atzmei Russia. Terz is of the Rafik. How could a person be Chai Mesim Atzmei Russia? He's Mesim Atzmei Russia. He said he killed him. You may cabal it wise of the Rafik, like the Kashi, or Russia, or Dinamalchus. Now that he is the king, so I have a Maleki. He says, Gera Maleki, Niska David Bo Yisra Sho, Im Nishba Kodesh Bochim, Yovah Mikolo Umise Kablu, Oba Midova Mima Malek Lo Yekablu. So Mele, he's not talking Geras, he's not talking Geras, I have a Fleshika Maleki, I have a Fleshika Maleki, I just became a king, Allah Akbar, I'm going to kill him. Go eliminate him, go ahead and kill him. This is to make peace between the Mechilte and and the, the story in Sefer Shmuel. I'd like to go weiter. We don't have too much time. I would like to go weiter. As follows. You know, the Gemara Sanhedrin says it, says a word that Naamon Ger Toishov, if you have it over there in your uh, notes, right before the end, the Gemara says, one before the last ma'am, the claim is, Mibnei Bonov shall homon lomdu teyur bibnei brak. Umanu, veils the bnei bonov shall homon lomdu teyur bibnei brak. The Gemara says, Mibnei Bonov shall sischo lindu teyur birushalayim. Mibnei Bonov shall homon lomdu teyur bibnei brak. So the Gemara, in, in, if you look in the Yerushalmi, it says, Who was the bnei bonov shall homon? Rabshmuel Bashelas. Who is Mim Dei Bonav Shal Sisre? That's Rabbi Kiv. Rabbi Nuchanan and Yitzhak Goinim Shtei De Gir Sefakert. Rabbi Shmuel Bashelos lived in Yerushalayim while Akiva knew a little bit. She lived in Bnei Brak. And Rabbi Kiva is a enical from Homan. So the Zayde for Rabbi Kiva is Homan. The Zayde doesn't make a difference. It could be the Zayde from, for all practical purposes. Can blame with Rabbi Shmuel Bashelos is one of the Tanoim. But apparently there is a Tano Either Rabbi Kiva or Rabbi Shmuel Bashelas, who is an from Homan. Is an anical from Homan. Fregen all the kashe, the new Rabbi Yehuda, the Chesam Seifer, all the Gdeil Achrin. Since they make the Megayim Amolek, we can sign an anical Rabbi Kiva or Rabbi Shmuel Bashelas. How does he get to become a Rabbi Kiva anical from? Comes the Emek Baruch and says the Shtikot Tayer. Emek Kabbalah Megayim Amolek means to say not that the Gerus is not Chal. He says, if a guy wants to become a gear, you don't accept him. But what happened if somebody went ahead and got it based in the gear and made him a gear? He became a gear. So one of the elders ages went, and Shalei Kedini was a guy. That's what he says. I'd like to suggest as follows. Be'emes is, I'm going to say it because we don't have time. There's a machlekes or a between Shittas Rashi and Shittas Rambam. Shittas Rambam, that the mitzvah of Mechias Amolek is only on Zchorim and Nekevis, and Behemoth, there is no mitzvah to kill the Behemoth of Amolek. Shittas Rashi, that you mechuyev to kill the behemoths of Amalek, also. As I state in Rashi, mi isha ad isha, mi goyla, mi shayla. Everybody asked the kashe. Rashi says in Sefer Shmuel, what we read today, that the reason why they killed the behemoths is because they were mitzchapsim, they made a kishuf, and they dressed up as behemoths. If Rashi holds them, ika adin, mitzvah mechias Amalek is on behemoths as well, you don't have to come out to get in dress. Ve kvar nish buru ar bekumusin, I'm not going to fire him. But it's known to say, is that the MS, there are, the Machlekes Rashi and the Rambam is a fundamental Machlekes. Shitas Rashi is that besides the halacha of Zera Amolek, there is a halacha of Zecher Amolek. I would like to explain. The Gemara in Kedushin, Tafsamach Zayin, says 
Now, what happened? We know a Jewish man that marries a non-Jewish girl, so the, the kid is, goes after the mother. Go to Shifcha, to Kusit, and if the kid goes, boss of the aim. What happened in Umas Oilum? Adoimi marry a Mitzris. What is the kid? So the Gemara says, Be Umas Oilech Achar Azochel. So the Gemara in Kiddush, in the Psalm of Zion, Amut Beis, Be Umas Oilech Achar Azochel. So if Adumi marry a Mitzris, the kid is Adumi. If Amoini marries a, a Knainis, is a. So the Gabba Dinfal is a high call in Shomo. He says only by Zion Amomin. So if the father is a Knaini, you kill him. Even if the mother is a Dumis, if vice versa, if the father is a Dumis, the mother of the Knainis, you could take it for Eved. This is the whole Sugi Sagmor. Now, Rashi Shita is you have to kill the Behemoth as well. The Michilta says, Omar Abelazar Amoidoi, Nishba Kodesh Bochu Bekisa Kotus. Abelazar Amoidoi has a, a whole fantasy with Nishba Kodesh Bochu Bekisa a bunch of them, one after the other. Nishba Kodesh Bochu Bekisa Kotus. Shaloyoniach Nin Vanechad La Amolik. Shaloyoimru Gomel Shal Amolik Rochel Shal Amolik. And the Meisim says in Meshachachme that this is the Mekor of Rashi. What does it mean Nim v'nechad la'amolik? Nim v'nechad la'amolik is amolik. Is a enikul? Is amolik? What's Nim v'nechad la'amolik? So I once heard from Chavrusa and Rebbe Adam Godel of Shimon Moshe Diskin who said as follows. He says, "What happens if somebody marries Amalekis? A mitzvah marry Amalekis? So Be'emesis, if we look at the encyclopedia in the Gemara in Kedushin Samach Zayin Amud Beis, the kid is not Amaleki." But he says, but you see that you killed the Gomel of Amalek and the Rochel of Amalek and the Elan of Amalek. So if the mother is Amalek, he's not a Zer Amalek, because the father, the passport today is an Egyptian passport. He doesn't get Amalek passport. But being that he is not Gorah for Rochel for Amalek, who doesn't have a passport, because he's Zecher Amalek, so even though the mother is from Amalek, is also, you kill him bedin zecher amolek. In other words, there is two halachas. The halach of zera amolek, which anybody who is a descendant, and that's totally in Hilchus Yuchsin, the din of zecher amolek to eradicate any memory from amolek not to be on top of the earth. That's the two halachas. The Rambam, very interesting, the Rambam says it's the only din of zera amolek. The Rambam in, in Sefer Amoire, and I brought you here, we don't have time to go through it inside because I would like to finish. The Rambam says, why is the Torah tells the whole story of Aluf Gatom, Aluf Knaz, Aluf Olivimo, Aluf Sholom, Rechoi Vesano, very interesting, who cares? Like a whole three alias of the Alufim of Esau. Who now? Who needs it? So the Rambam, because it's going to be a days and times, he says, the Eniklach from Esau only married into the family. They all marry only each other. They don't marry anybody, no external Shiduchim. The Rambam, there will be times there will be a mitzvah of Timcha Zecher Amolek. And you would think that since it's an enical form, Amolek, Mitzad Oeim, you have to kill him. Torah says, no, Zecher Amolek, you should know exactly who is Ben Achar Ben, and therefore only kill the Eniklach. This is the Rambam of Shittos, the Din of Zecher Amolek. And the Zecher Amolek goes by Sa'ob, because Bumas says, Lecha Chazoch. But I could point out the Rambam that should there be a locha of Zecher Amalek, you would have to eradicate. And that's the Mechil that says, Nishba Kodesh Bochu Bekisa Akosh Elo Niach Nimvon Nechad Amalek. And Nechad means Ainakul from the Mama's side, not from the Tata's side, not from the father's side, from the mother's side. Why should the Gomel Shel Amalek is not any worse than a Gomel, an animal of Amalek? A Bernus and Ibishitz comes alone and says in the Heintik Aftere, there's a safe called the Havas Yainasan. He says, What was the mistake of Shol? Why didn't Shol really kill Agog? He says, nearly that Agog was the enical of Amolek Mitzado Aim, Veloi Mitzado Av. Look at this, you have to look inside. This is something fascinating. Look, three, four before the end. Nira Mikan, the Agog Hoyo me Amolek, Mishpacha Sein, Veloi Mishpacha Sov. The Shol Tobe Mashechio is Agog, Mipne Shagog Imo is Amin Amolek. The Shol Sovar Sheer Aim Lav Sheeru. He's telling you a story that Be'emes Yeredarkoi Agog was an enical for Amolok Mitzado Eim, not Mitzado Av. Okay? And he says the show made a mistake and he thought that She'er Eim is not called a She'er and that's why he didn't kill him. Be'emes, he made a mistake. Why? Because even he saw Abal Akusis, the blood goes after her. 
So, so that everybody comes and mutters that it's wrong because Gemara shteim toch nishta zeh Gemara shteim toch bumis elu chachar zocher. This shtikol that he's saying that, but he says Sholtos was the reason he didn't kill him is since he was anical Agav was anical only Agav. I was once by Pchaim Kanievsky. He showed me a masecha seferim. It says the twenty-one generations from Haman bees Esav straight benze 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 benze. It's all benachabe. But he goes along and tells us that Haman was. Uh, that Agog was a zera amolik mina eminat minav. That's what he says. If that's true, I would like to say just as follows. I'd like to say alom shavort, and with that we're going to finish up. What's the difference between eradicating an enikul for amolik ben ben and eradicating an enikul for amolik according to Rashi Shita midin gomel shel amolik of zecher amolik? Okay, I love to say over with a baruch bear came back from Kamenitz to, came back from Brisk to his yeshiva. He says, what did you learn by Abraham Brisk? What did you learn by Abraham? So he says, I learned two things. Let me translate it from ancient French. He says, the reason why a Kohen is a Kohen is not because his father is a Kohen. The reason why the Kohen is a Kohen is because since his father is a Kohen, he happens to be born to the same Mishpachas Kehun of his father. But whoever made his father Kohen made him a Kohen. It's not that the Kohen generates Kohanim. It's not that I am a third generation Kohen. I'm a member of the club. The father is a Kohen, and if I wouldn't be a son of a Kohen, I would never be a member of the tribe to become a Kohen. Because I am a coin. But once I was born to my father, I am a coin, not because of him, but for the very same reason he is a coin, I am a coin. Prime Shtikotari is in Sefer, the Gabi Yitzimina also. Prime. And he says the same thing a fair. Prime is talking about Chamoy Rabual Atzivio, the Gabi Yitzimina Tome, Yitzimina also, Chiv Malkish, the Sarambam. A donkey is not a donkey because his father is a donkey. His donkey is a donkey because he is a donkey, for the same reason his father is a donkey. When you kill Amolek as Amolek, you don't kill him because you killed the Elta Elta Zay, the 21 generation upstairs. You kill him because the Torah says, Tim Chazech Amolek. The Zalbe Amolek, the Sigivan, the Elta Zay, the Rebbe Sheinikul, he is also the very same Amolek. When you kill Amolek, Midin, Tim Chazech Amolek, you're not killing him today. You're killing him because he reminds you of Amolek. He is leaving a Shem Vesheiris to Amolek. There is. You walk by, you say, ooh, Amolek Avenue, wow. The old man, the grandpa made a, look at the Statue of Liberty. Amolek! So when you, you moiche zecher Amolek, you're not moiche him, he's nothing. He is just a friendly reminder of the elta, 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 gidek, elta, ganeva, shekocha, vayazane. The difference is, if Geiris help or Geiris doesn't help. I'd like to suggest that this that Geiris doesn't help Nishba Kodesh Boruch Hu Bekisa Hakovet Shaloi Shem Yavoyu Gerim Ha'amolok Shaloi Kablo Oisom Misharu Mise Kablo Oisom You cannot make a Geiris. Why? Because even after you're going to make the Geiris, this genetic mutation, that formula that made me a makeup of becoming a Molok, a heft of Amolok, remains. Doesn't make a difference. After Geiris, I'm also Amolok. That shtickle is not getting eradicated by the Geiris. Why? Because I'm a Moleki, because I'm a Moleki. So, I used to be a Goyish Amolek, and I'm a Yiddish Amolek. The reason why in the Kabbalah gave me Amolek is because the Geirus is not going to take off this genetic mutation that I am a fel, valich bin a fel, nish valich kum fun a fel. When you're making an enikul for Amolek mitzado aim, I'm taking Rabbi Yenis and Ibishitz for his words, that Agag was an enikul for Amolek mitzado aim, not mitzado av. So what you're doing is you want to eradicate the perpetuation of the memory of Amalek from the Zayda Zayda Amalek. You know, Ger is a very unique phenomena. A Gershon is Gai Kekoshan Domi. A Gershon is Gai is Muta Be'imoy. There's no relation. So once the Ger is this Gai, there is no Shaykhis anymore to the Friedrich generation. I am a Ger. I can marry my mother. There's no Shaykhis, no Kurva. It's Paka, the Din Kurva. So if I'm going to be Megayer of Ben Achab Ben for Amolek, Geiris doesn't help. Because I'm blind by Amolek, I'm Amolek, I invite the Amolek. But if the only reason why you eliminate me is because I remind, I remind, a friendly reminder, 
the Statue of Liberty of the Zeichen Amolik from the Zeideh, that could be taken off via Geiris. Rabbi Kiva, B'nei Bonav Shalhom and Lom the Torah B'nei Brak, Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Shmuel Ba'Sheilas, the reason why they were game, not because somebody reingechapt, red light camera, and he crossed the border by mistake. In as much that Agog was a Enochul from Amolik, it's Ado Eim, Geiris suffices. And since Rabbi Kiva is an Enochul of Oman, and Oman is an Enochul of Agog, Geiris will help.